how did you go about selecting the strains and the types of things that go into the bacteria and the, and the fungi and the products that you have at Biome? A lot of products are developed just the way you said. They find either an interesting ingredient and maybe there's a small clinical trial and they sort of cobble it together in a formula and they market it, right? We work backwards. We said, okay, what are we trying to address? We think biofilms need to be broken down. Okay, what are in those biofilms, these pathogenic organisms? How do we inhibit those specific organisms? So then what we then did was sourced strains in the US that would actually inhibit those organisms plus the digestive enzyme, and that became our biome formula. So then we did clinical trials, but we started from a very targeted formulation based on what he had seen and that's where we did the correlation analysis and we did targeted really uh, research to try to inhibit E. coli, which is known to be pathogen, Siracia marcescens, also another bacteria which is known to cause infection, and of course Candida, which is really the number one uh, pathogen as far as fung fungal, uh, fungi is concerned. So when we did that and we said, okay, they are these organisms, they come together, what do they do? And when we put them together, we had strains from our collection. We have thousands of strains of clinical isolates, and we put them together, and lo and behold, they made biofilms. And then when they make biofilms, we said, okay, not only they are there, they are making this biofilm which protected them. So our now aim or objective is to try to break these biofilms. And that's how we selected these strains as well as added the enzyme because we thought this also will give a helping hand for the strains. And that's how we came out with Biome.